Hello there, my name is Richard from Silent Peak and welcome to this demo of Blur Background in ACDC Photo Studio Ultimate 2023. Now, so here we have my portrait. It is slightly blurred. I'm going to make it more blurred. And by doing that, I am just going to go to AI Actions and click Blur Background. And we're done. Now, as you can see, it's effective and it's also very, very quick. However, one of the things it lacks, especially compared to the competition, is the ability to adjust the blur. So for instance, I can't adjust the severity, the aesthetic, or indeed the depth, which is how quickly uh, the blur falls off from our in-sharp foreground to a blurred background. Hope that makes sense. So what I'm gonna do today is show you a little bit of a workaround for those of you less familiar with photo editing. So I'm going to undo that. I'm going to go back to my original image and I'm going to use a new AI trick called the subject select or select subject. So it does exactly that. Select subject automatically selects the subject that's uh, part of your photo. And it's very good. You can see it's pretty much nailed it. It's very accurate and it pretty much always nails it. Um, I, I recommend you give it a try. Anyway, so that's me. I'm ready for a blurred background, but I don't want to blur me. I want to blur everything that's not selected. So to do that, I'm going to go up to select and I'm going to click inverse. And what's happened is it's completely flipped the selection. So whereas before I was selected, now I'm the only thing that's not selected. And then I've got all these different tools I can apply to my selection. So you can do anything you like, not just background blur, but you could do black, uh, background uh, discoloring. Uh, you know, you can fade it. You can do whatever you like. You can remove it. But in this case, we're doing blur. Now, like in a previous video, it cuts to black, but it's only doing it while I'm recording. It doesn't do it when I'm using the system uh, normally. And as you can see, we've got our blur. Now, unlike before, I can affect the amount of blur. So if I sort of dial it back or dial it forward, you can see I've got full control over the severity. I've also got all kinds of uh, settings for frequency. So don't really know exactly what that's going to do, but it's doing something. Brightness, We've got different effects, so we can do hearts. So maximize it just for the sake of being able to show you what all these settings doing. And as you can see, well, hopefully you can see on your smartphone or your computer, the sort of different effects we're able to do by applying background blur using this method, rather than the easy sort of one click solution in the AI actions. But even though this is a little bit more complicated, it's not too complicated. And we can also do, we don't have to do aperture blur. We can do Gaussian blur, linear blur, which is more like motion blur, radial blur. See, we've got all swirly. Spread. I'm not sure why I'd use that. Zoom blur. Yeah, that's cool. I like that one. And Smart Blur, well, that sort of cartoony buys it. Anyway, once we're finished, we can hit select. Uh, we can, sorry, hit done. That's gonna apply our blur. We return to the image and we can just go to select and deselect and then continue with our edit. Anyway, hope that was useful. That is the brand new AI blur background and a more extensive workaround if you want a little bit more control over the effect. Uh, my name is Richard from Silent Peak and I wish you a great day. Bye-bye.